is going on YouTube? Yep, yep, I'm back to work. They're back rolling. You see that, folks? I was a stretched out trailer. I used to pull those on a daily basis. Some days I miss it, but then there's some days I don't. It all depends. But yeah. You figure that that trailer stretches out, I think, to 90 feet. And I was pulling a load. The load itself was 124 foot long. So yeah, I had four foot overhang on the front. And uh probably about 30 foot on the back. Yeah, I think that's what it was, 30 foot hanging off the back, but it was a steel, steel girder. It was just one piece, 124 foot long. Uh, Y'all gonna start seeing episode numbers on my, my videos. There was a guy, he, uh, he commented last night on, on yesterday's video, said he was having a hard time keeping up, you know, keeping them in order. So, you know, yesterday's video went up as episode one. So I'm gonna start from there. I'm not gonna go back and count all my videos. And so episode one was yesterday. Today will be episode two and so on and so forth. I'm gonna start putting like episode numbers on my, my videos. So it'll be easier for you to keep up with if you follow, follow me daily, it'd be easier to keep up. So hopefully that helps some of y'all out. Check this out, folks. Look at that Peterbilt there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That was a sharp Pete right there. Although, you can tell it's a working Pete. He ain't missing a headlight. But it's still a good looking Pete. Yeah, I got people riding my back door right now. They all up in my gas hole, but uh, yeah, I'm not getting over until I get done passing. Right now, I'm still passing. They're gonna try to come up the right side and get around me, but there's not gonna be enough time. But yeah, there's one. One of them got by. Welcome to Mississippi, folks. Yep, yep, we're in Mississippi now. Right here's the scale. I've been in Mississippi, man, about three miles. I was just online ordering, ordering some food to be delivered to the house. But yeah, so I got them took care of. So you, they got five hours on the clock for today. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm telling you right now, folks, I'm not going another five hours today. That's for sure. But I may make it over to uh, probably Tallulah, Louisiana, which that's about two and a half, three hours, depending on traffic. So, yep. Yeah. That'd probably be the goal for today. But anyhow, yep, yep, I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. All right, y'all know the routine. I'm in Mississippi now. You OGs know. At the 151, I have to stop and get fuel. So, yeah, we're at the 164 right now. So, uh, I have uh, 12 miles to go. I got to stop and get fuel. And then from there, I don't know, depending on how long it takes there, I might not go another five miles from there. If I got, if, if it's bad in there like I, like it's been lately, I don't know, the last time I went in there, I went right in and right out. But, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. If it's bad in there and it's an hour to get in and get out to get fuel with it. Yeah, I may not go much further. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes, folks. All right, all right, all right, folks. Here we are. Take it 151. Yep, yep. Here's the pilot. 
where I gotta stop at every day to get fuel. Oh well. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Keep left to Valley Road. I understand why you have to stop left. here. I mean. Maybe you got 15 Turn trucks. Avenue, and, uh, take the first left. 25 to 30 cent a gallon less here than what it is five miles down the road where I prefer to stop. But yeah, like I said, you got 15 trucks. Uh, you figure 30 cent a gallon, 100 gallons, that's 30 bucks you save per truck. You know, and, and 10 trucks, that's $300. So 15 trucks, that's $450 he saves on everybody fueling here. So, and every day I got to get fuel. So if everybody is fueling up here daily like I do, he's saving roughly, yeah, just say $450 a day. I'm seven, so you know, he's saving a good bit of money, a good bit of change, so it makes sense, but it's a pain in the arch, especially when it looks like it does today. So it looks like it's going to be one of those days up in this truck stop. Yep, every pump is double stacked with trucks. So yeah, shit, triple stack this up. Turn left on Tommy Webb Drive. Oh so my take god! The first right. I'm gonna be here a while, folks. Yep, yep. And this is gonna take a while. So let's get in here and get this fuel. And get it over with. Hey, there's the pecker head that was parked next to me last night. <laughs> that motherfucker we was parked next to last night's right here. Really? Yeah. Shit. Oh boy. Nah, yeah, it ain't the same guy. It's one of our trucks, but it ain't the same guy I was parked next to last night, so yeah. I know he he left last night. By 7, 8 o'clock, he was on the road, so if this was him, uh, he's dragging ass if I caught up with him and he left 10 hours before me. So yeah, I don't think it's him. Look at the classic folks. That's a sharp looking classic. Look at the Peterbilt there, folks. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That's one sweet pea right there. Yep, yep. That's a good looking truck. Yeah, buddy. See, I like the stance of that truck and everything. You know. Oh. Yeah, the stance of that truck and everything, the way it sits, the straight pipes, the flat top. Like I've said many a time, folks, if I was to ever have one of them trucks, it would be strictly show. And you got old Coronado, Red Turn Coronado. Right yep, yep. Drive, then take the first left. Oh, what we have here. Oh, yeah, that's the classic that pulled in a minute ago. All right, so now we go on to the tea store. I ain't had no tea in about a month. So I'm going to the tea store, and then I may just stay there. Yeah, I've got some late Turn starts left, last couple Valley days. Road, then take the ramp on the right. I don't know. I don't know what to do, folks. Last couple days I've been starting late. I don't want a late start. 
but we'll see. I don't know what's going to happen yet. We'll see. Hey folks, here we are. This is where the 20 and 59 separates right up here. You know, ever since uh, 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 McCalla, Alabama, we've been on 2059, which, yeah, you're going west and south at the same time. That I don't know, ain't figured out yet. But, at any rate, anywho, right here you see west and south, they separate right here. We're going to continue going west and 59 continue going south. Yep, yep. Let's go. All right, folks. Here we are at the uh, exit 129. Wait, that's another thing that's funny. We go from the 151 and we go five miles and we're at the 129. Can you imagine that? But, you know, again, that's because of the 2059 separation. Keep left to I-20. Yep, yep. All right, anywho. And go in here and get some tea and then I got to do some calculating and see what I'm going to do. If there's no chance in hell for me to get my fourth load for the week, then I'm just staying here. Now, but if there's a chance for me to get my fourth load, then I'll truck on. So I got to pull up here at the fuel pumps and do some calculating. So let's see, folks, let's see. Look at that Peter Belt, folks. Yep, yep, there's another one. Look at that W9, folks. Yep, yep, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that Peter Belt. Yep, yep. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at here. We got us a Peter Belt tow truck. What's going on, YouTube? Yep, it's the next morning, you see. And uh, just got done doing my pre trip. And look, we are packed in here this morning. I mean, I got drugs beside me. These are uh, mobile home movers, all packed in beside me over here. And you see, there ain't that much space there to get out. But we're going to get out of here. So, yep. Let's get her done. Alright. Here we go. Let's get up out of here. Looks like one of our 579s right here in front of me, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure till I see the side over here. Yep, that's one of ours. That's a, uh, what's her name? But yeah, that's our 579 there. I knew it had to be, it can't be too many of them olive color 579s running around. <coughs> oh, look at the lights on this truck here. Come on, dude. Yeah. It's a bull hauler, they always lit up. Yes, sir. So, yep, and pull up here and go ahead and get my drink and all, and then uh, we will be on the road. And it is. 4:25 a.m. So yeah, I got me a little earlier start this morning. That was my whole goal. 
to get started a little bit earlier. That's why I stopped early. Ooh. Yeah, well. So, yeah. I got to run in and get a drink. And get on the road. Alright, folks. It's time to get up out of here and where am I going this morning? Oh yeah, I'm going to Dallas. Every once in a while I gotta look at my GPS just to remember where I'm going. <laughs> I go back and forth so much sometimes I can't remember. But yep, we're headed to Dallas. So yeah, let's go. Got my sweet tea this morning. They didn't have none yesterday afternoon. Miles. Turn right on Giles oh, I got it this morning and it's good. Yeah, buddy. It's like it's fresh. What a deal. All right. Here we are getting on the big road. Yep. Time to go. Time to truck it up. Woo my time so 3.30 central time so it was getting into Dallas at 11.15 central time which is 7 hours and 40 minutes as long as nothing happens so I should be able to make it there without taking a break but I ain't gonna go that far without taking a break but I will go probably to the other side of Louisiana to uh, Halton, Louisiana on exit 33. That's probably where I'm going to stop. Take my break. Maybe do laundry because I got laundry that's got to be done. Yeah, before I get another shower, I got to do laundry so I got to get laundry done today. And uh, yeah, go from there. That's today or today, and then once we get to uh, Dallas, we we'll probably have to go to Waco. I'm not sure, but 99% of the time, that's where you go. But every once in a while, he'll throw one of them Dallas loads on us, so that's why I say I'm not sure. But we're gonna say we're going to Waco, but that's why I go 99% of the time. So, yep, let's get her done. Yeah, folks. 25 miles into this morning, we're coming into Lake Mississippi. There ain't nothing really happened yet. So, yeah. That's why we, uh, ain't been on here. So, yeah. Nope, we got somebody up on the shoulder up here. So, yeah. You know what you gotta do? Somebody on the shoulder, what you're supposed to do. See, watch this truck in front of me. Nobody got over but me. I just, I don't get it. I mean, what if he's laying underneath the truck and his legs are hanging out and shit? Uh, yeah, I know he shouldn't be laying there with his leg hanging out on the road, but sometimes you ain't got much of a choice. You got to get under your truck somehow to get under there. If there's something underneath, you got to get under there and take care of it. But 
Anywho. It is what it is. So let's go, let's go. Here's my Walmart exit, folks. Yep, yep. That's Forest, Mississippi. And that's the Walmart I do most of my shopping at just because of the truck parking. And not only that, I, uh, it's my regular route, so I'm through here almost every day, every other day. So, yeah, that's why I do my shopping there. All right, here we are. We're coming into Jackson, folks. Yep, yep. This is where it all started. But anyhow, <laughs> I ain't gonna go on that rant again, but yeah. This will be Jackson, Pearl. Well, we're in Pearl, then, then Jackson, and then, yeah. But anyhow, let's see what happens. It's still 4.45 in the morning, so I'm not expecting any traffic or nothing through here. I just had this bull run across the road right in front of me. My Lord. What was he thinking? It's a good thing I was paying attention to her. We had some roadkill. I see what he's doing. He's setting up signs, I guess, for the road construction. I'm glad to see they doing road work through here. But him running across the road like that, man. I mean, I was watching. I was getting over because of the his vehicle on the, on the right shoulder he had his lights all flashing so I was watching the truck and then he come running across the road but geez look the cop up here you can see his blue lights I wonder why he they probably don't I'm sure he can see the, the glow up from the blue on the on his lights on the top he just letting everybody know he's there Oh yeah, here we are in the bladder buster section. Yep, yep. But anywho, all right, we gonna get through Jackson, folks. Yeah, as you can see the cops still rolling along up here with his. It's like running lights. He's got his blue lights on like running lights. Oh no. I'll be glad when they get done fixing all this. Yeah, buddy. Anywho. Ooh, yep. We're coming out the other side of Jackson now. We got about another five miles of this bladder busted bumps. We'll be out of here. Oh, we got some smooth road here. Yeah, this must be something they repaid. Just kind of smooth. What a deal. Yeah, I just read a comment from one of, I don't know, somebody. I don't know if he's a subscriber or not, but somebody will watch one of my videos and said that was 15 seconds of his life that he just wasted. Well, hey, okay, if that's how you feel, cool. That's still considered a view, and then you commented, so that just helps the algorithm. So, yeah, it's all good. But you know what you was getting in it? I mean, what you... <laughs> <laughs> What do you think it was? Uh, I mean, it, it, I explained exactly what you're watching. Trucking, uh, and it was the one where I was trucking through Dallas and down to Waco and back out. Exactly what I done and exactly what I said. So, why well, he want to go on there and talk about what kind of hillbilly crap is this? 15 minutes of my, or 15 seconds of my life wasted. Well, <laughs> okay, if you feel that way. 
it's all good. I don't care. You watch the video, so it's all good. All right, folks, here comes the scale. Oh, wait, never mind. I forget the scale's been closed for over a year now. I don't know what they're doing, but, but it ain't been open for over a year. So, yeah, we got to worry about that, but we are. Oh, uh, what? About 10, 12 miles from the state line here. I don't know. But we ain't far from the mighty Mississippi River across the bridge into Louisiana. Yep, yep. We're nine miles from the state line, folks. Nine miles. All right, folks, here we are. Here's the Mississippi River, and we fix them across into Louisiana. Yep, and I gotta get over it. I don't like being against. Yep, I know. Y'all know if you've been watching me for a while, you know. But anyhow, welcome to Louisiana. That's right, right in the middle of the bridge and crossing Louisiana. So we're now in Louisiana. We got a scale coming up here at the end of the bridge.
And yeah. Again, we're stopping at the 33. The 33 is where I'll be stopping them, take my break there, and uh, do, probably do laundry and shower and all that stuff. Oh, now we're in West Monroe. <laughs> uh, anyhow. It is what it is. Thank you. So let's go, let's go. Hey, folks, we're going through Ruston, Ruston, Louisiana. Right over there, where that the truck parked on the ramp right over there. I parked there one night on that ramp. I think I woke up about one o'clock in the morning by the police and I was told I had to leave. And uh, hell, there was like four of us parked on that ramp that night and he woke every one of us up told us to leave. So yeah, I don't park on no ramps in Louisiana no more. 50 miles, folks. 50 miles from stopping to do laundry and take a break. Yep, yep. 50 miles. Well, I just found out. Yep, my vehicle has finally made it into the shop. It's no longer just sitting out on the yard. So now, now it's just a matter of time before it's done. So yeah. Uh, that'd probably be another two weeks, probably, but, you know, at least I know it is being worked on now. It ain't just sitting there. So, yeah, and uh, we are 27 miles from stopping to take my break. 27 miles from the break. Yeah, look at there. There's a load of eggs with cow main food, egg lands. Uh, yep, yep. I'm hauling some loads for them. They make loads just for Calvin. Alright, folks, here we are. We in exit 33, Halt Fillmore, whichever one you want to call it. I call it Halt, Louisiana. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's the way it's, it's spelled. So, uh, anywho, yep. Go over here to the truck stop, take a break, do laundry, get shower, and take a walk ahead. And go from there. Yep, yep. It'll be one of those days. It's gonna be a long day. It's 8:40 a.m. my time, so 7:40 local time. And uh, yeah. From right here, it's three hours to Dallas. So once I get done here, I got three more hours to get to Dallas. Yes, sir. Look at the old flat top sitting there. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, yep. That's right. Hey, folks. Got my laundry started, and uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna cut the video here for today. Go on and start to upload while I'm sitting still. Maybe it'll go a little faster instead of three hours. Maybe it'll happen in two hours. I don't know. But anyhow, if you made it this far, thanks for watching TTVE.